it's nine o'clock in the morning. Woohoo! Too blooming early, really. <laughs> but it's nine o'clock in the morning. Uh, we've already done school run, so I've been there and back. Haven't had my breakfast yet, so I do need to make my mind up what I'm having for my breakfast. Determined not to waste my day because it's a beautiful day today. Sun's out, so I've already got some washing in the washing machine. Um, and I want to do a bit of gardening. I do need to post some parcels. I've sold two of my little hens, so I need to get those sold and on the way to their little new home. So. Um, we're just gonna have a busy day, so let's crack on. Miss Lily never ceases to amaze me. Clocking on for about 18 and still jumping on bins. <laughs> and it's quite high up. Well done. Your good old legs must be working this morning. Hey, legs working this morning. Managed to get you up there, didn't they? Hey. You did. There's life in the old cat, yeah. <laughs> That's it, you have a good nose at the camera, yeah. You like sitting in the sunshine, don't you? Yeah. I'm just looking at the sample I've painted on my um, garage door. Um, it's quite nice, but it's like a bit like a pale grey sort of colour. I'm not sure whether to paint it that colour or to paint it this cream colour. I think the creamy colour might be better. It's a bit lighter, I think, a bit more cheerful. I'm not sure. <laughs> so is that one? Or that one? They probably look the same on the camera. Right, I forgot to show you my Avon came yesterday. Um, so I've got some new lipsticks. I've got red cream, which is my favourite, which I always use. Um, and then I ordered this one, which is supple magenta. So I'm going to go and try it. We'll see what it's like. That's the colour. So it's quite pink. It's pinker than I thought it was going to be. Um, but it's like a dark pink. So we'll see how it goes throughout the day. I'm not sure if I'm that keen or not. Can't wait up yet. I think I prefer my reds to my pinks. But um, that's my new lippy. <laughs> In the car. So we're going to go and get some petrol. Take some used newspapers to the Scout Hut to donate because they collect them and get the money for them. Uh, post parcels. Um... And I think that's it. Right, so petrol, post office, drop newspapers off. Let's go. Oh, it's busy at the petrol station. So I've now got to just sit here and wait for the other people to pay and then we can get our fuel. I've got my fuel, but I forgot my parcels. I've left my parcels home. So I've got to go back home and get my parcels. Oh, nightmare. Right, back home. So I've got my parcels now. Can't believe that I went out without the parcels. I'm so forgetful sometimes. Oh, it's terrible. That's what you get for rushing. So, got the parcel, so let's go back to the post office now and go and post some money.
back in the car. Right, we need to go home. It's 11 o'clock, so we've uh, had a couple of hours already this morning. So I did a quick look in the second hand shop. We shouldn't have done, but we had a quick look. I did buy a little jacket. Um, I'll show you when I get home. So uh, we'll go home, get a kettle on, make myself a nice cup of coffee, and then get out in the garden. Let's go. We're home. I forgot to show you. Bag of the day. I've used my Alma PM um, vanilla leather in the most absolutely show-stopping colour it's absolutely beautiful this bag's not my favourite bag because it does annoy me because I could do with a long strap sometimes but I just love the colour I think it's quite a rare colour so pretty I love it don't you just love it when you buy a magazine from the shop and then you realise you've already got it oh, how annoying I can't believe I've done that if there's only one ninety nine, but it's so annoying does anybody else ever do that? I don't do it very often, but I had a good flick through it in the shop and thought, I'm sure I haven't read this one. And obviously, I already had. I'm so annoyed with myself. We're in the garden. So I'm now going to try and shape this bush. I've cut a little bit off it already, but I'm going to try and make it into like two lollipops. So I want some at the bottom, a gap, and then some at the top. I don't know if it's going to work out right. I've made myself a little pom-pom tree. I don't know whether it's really weird, but it's alright for a change. So we've got like a, fl a like bobbly bit at the bottom and a bobbly bit at the top. <laughs> bit of modern art. I've come in for my dinner. So I've rustled myself some dinner up. So I've got salad, uh, chicken that was left over from yesterday, some ravitas, which are my box thing on Slimming World, and then mug of the day. Nice cup of coffee in my shoe with Salvation Mug. So off to enjoy my dinner. Back outside. I've got my work boots on. I mean one thing, serious digging is about to commence. <laughs> digging round here. Right, we've just dug a big hole and we've just planted this little like pom pom tree. The bottom bit's a bit smaller than the top, I might trim the top. But it's like another little lollipop. I love lollipop shaped trees. Got more flowers in. So I've put this little white one in and a little pink one. They were in pots from last year, so not sure how well they'll do, but we'll give them loads of water. Fingers crossed. Still gardening, but I think I've made a bit of a mess. I don't think I need to put some of my stuff away. I've got stuff everywhere. It's me. I'm so hot. Look at me. <laughs> I don't want to go on school run, but I've got to go in and start sorting tea out and stuff. So in we go. Right, we're inside my dear. So it's half past three, so I'm just trying to start making a start on my tea. So James and we've got beef burgers tonight. We've lost cheese and a bit of salad, and then I've got homemade similar burgers so I'm just trying to rustle them up now so it's literally mince, onion, bacon I normally put mushrooms in but I've just realised I haven't got any mushrooms but never mind so I'm going to make them into burger shapes and then I will cook these when I get back from school so just rustling it all up right, before we go to school what did I buy today? I bought my husband some envelopes Ta -da! he's going to love those as exciting as envelopes can be I got this lovely robe thing uh, I just loved it because I loved the colour. I'm so into red at the minute. Um, it is actually a large size, which would normally be too big for me, but I thought as an oversized like, little jacket thing, it would be really smart. Is it a bit like a chemo or something they're called? I don't, can't think what they're called, but um, I just thought it'd be lovely as a bit of a cover-up so you can wear it like with a little vest top or something, but I loved the red and the flowers. And then I bought this gorgeous little Zara jacket. I don't need a jacket, as you all know. Um, but I just loved it so much I couldn't resist. Again, it's got red on it, it's got navy and it's like a little bomber jacket and it's Zara and I just thought it was so cute. So I couldn't resist, I bought that. And then I bought Ruby some stencils. I don't know if you can remember stencils when you were at school and stuff, but um, I used to love stencils and these are quite big ones. So I think you should have a bit of fun with those and they're only 50p. So that was what I bought today. I'm in the car. So we're just going to go on school run. I've just tried my other Avon lipstick that I bought as well because I bought three this morning. Don't need three lipsticks, do I? I bought, bought three. Um, this one was at the sale book. It's like a red lacquered finish, so it's quite shiny. So it's really nice. I really like it, which I always say about all Avon lipsticks. So anyway, it is. Let's get to school. We've arrived. We've got the aircon on full blast. It's bloody boring. <laughs> it's 19 and a half degrees and I've got jeans on. I never thought about putting shorts on. I'm so hot. Oh God. Right, so hopefully it won't be too long. There's a fire within my soul. Just one. 
one look. <laughs> She's not impressed by my singing. So I've brought my tea up. So many is I've got burgers that I've made, uh, bacon, lots of salad, and then just a few of these. They are the nicest thing I've ever tasted. They are. Let me show you the packet. I'm so shocked because I thought they were going to be really horrible, and they're really, really nice. They look like chips, but they're actually crunchy sweet potato fries. Um, they're not sin free if you do swallow, follow Slimming World, they've got a few sins in. But if you don't have too many, they're not too bad. And they're absolutely delicious. They're a bit like chips, but they have a little bit more taste to them. They're so nice. So, anyway, off to enjoy my lovely tea. Back outside again. Can't get enough of this gardening. <laughs> so, while the sun's still shining, we're still gardening. There are the plants I got from my mum's yesterday. So I've made like a little rockery corner. I don't know whether they'll grow, they'll probably die no matter look. <laughs> like jackets and stuff so yeah so it's been a really nice day so thank you for sharing it so if you do enjoy life in england daily vlogs handbags shopping and all the other things we get up to then please subscribe to my channel and come and find me on instagram as mrs crazy bag lady so i love you and leave you and i'll speak to you tomorrow bye